What's up everybody on YouTube? Thanks for joining in. Today we are in New Zealand and we are hunting down some European rabbits. I'm going to show you a map. I have 21 European rabbit burrow locations to share with you. I'm going to quickly go through as many locations as I can. I'm going to show you all 21 spots. I have some great exciting hunting news for you. I am getting an Xbox 10. So we're going to see if the old Rancho Del Rio plays better on Xbox 10 than, I, than compared to my Xbox One. But let's get into some action. I'm going to show you some European rabbit locations. I really enjoyed hunting these little small critters. They are hard to see. So I have tripods and tree stands and ground blinds set up at pretty much every location which makes it a little bit easier to hunt. Oh, we got here some chamois running through. Chamois I did not enjoy hunting. Once I got my diamond, I was done with hunting chamois. They all look the same. But these little rabbits, they are hard to see. They are small, so you really have to look for them. Now, some people have wondered, do the burrow locations move? Do they disappear? Do they disappear? Absolutely. Do they move? No. You just have to come back at the time that they're out of their burrows and you will find them. So if you go and looking for these locations that I'm showing you on the map and you are not there, try going back a different time, maybe a different day, but make sure it is the time of day when the European rabbits are out of their burrow locations. So what time are they outside their burrow locations? So I prefer to hunt them early in the morning from 5 to 9 a.m. So pretty much all the videos I'm going to show you today, all these clips were recorded between 5 and 9, mostly between 5 and around 8.30. I find after 8.30 they get a little more harder to find outside their burrows, but they are there sometimes. So I will show you one location where you can clearly see the burrow is not there, then I'll come back the next day at the same time and the burrow location is there and their rabbits are out. So I am using the 12 gauge pump shotgun. I also carry the 22 rifle and that's about all you need for rabbit hunting. So I will shoot them with the 12 gauge first and then once they run away I'll try to use my binoculars to spot them. I'll take a shot or two if I can with the 22. Take another one or two down hopefully and then sometimes I'll creep around, walk around, listen for those warning thumps, and then I'll track them down and shoot them with a shotgun. Now I only have one male diamond rabbit. <clears throat> I was not sure if the female rabbits were also capable of producing diamonds, like the scrub hair, which I have a diamond female of. So in the beginning I was shooting all the females and males, but then I mostly just concentrate on taking out the males first. The females are like a secondary, so anything that runs after I take that first shot too, I'm taking them out. So let's pick up some of these guys and I'll show you another location on the map. This is kind of a longer video because I have 21 locations to show you. There are several locations by the old mud lake over here. I have one here, then all the way across the lake on the other side on the east side there's another burrow location right here where i have a tree stand that's way up in the air on the tree and you can see the gps coordinates on every location so here's one of my tree stands i have that's another spot so you can see the old burrow location it is early in the morning so there's some feral pigs walking around but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over, and since it's a long ways to run over there, I will just skip ahead till we get to that little section. But it's clearly across the lake, and you can see it once you start getting closer. What I find that you can't always see the burrows from a far distance. Once you get close, it appears, and you need to be around 130 or so yards away before you can actually spot the European rabbits. Bam, 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 bam. 
There are some fast little runners. So they only weigh three, four, maybe five pounds. So they are kind of hard to see. It's not like shooting a massive red deer, but they are pretty fun to hunt. So here's a male. Let's pick up a few more and then we head over to the next location. So this is one of my top spots for New Zealand. I've taken several fallow deer and at least one or two feral pig diamonds from this spot right here. But let's go ahead and take a look at another location just south of the Mud Lake. I have a tent over there to the west that I use for fallow deer hunting. So I just run out and I'm going to try to show you the GPS coordinates. And if you don't know where that's at, that's in the bottom right hand corner when you look at your map when you can see the GPS coordinates and all the locations I'm gonna show you today. So if you have any locations that you know of that I did not show in this video, please feel free to drop a comment below. You just barely see him with the old 12 gauge without scope. Maybe I should put the scope on here. You can put a scope on the 12 gauge. this little guy up and I'll go show you another location you see it is kind of foggy so it even makes it harder to see him but New Zealand has been one of my favorite maps so far in the game I probably spent a lot of time hunting it and I really do enjoy it but here's a light brown male so we'll have a diamond to show you this was my first diamond European rabbit so I'm happy to get it so let's take a look at the south area where the little peninsula is and you see I have a tree stand and a tent right next to it and it doesn't really seem to affect them the same way it does deer and other animals. So you can use the 22 and there's all the shotguns you can use with bird shot. You can even hunt the rabbits with the crossbow which is no way I'm going to be accurate enough to hit one of these guys with a crossbow unless I get really close. But for some reason, the beaver has taken my tree stand again. I don't know why the beavers love knocking down my tree stands, but I don't even think they have beavers in New Zealand. But well, let's take a look at this spot right here. So I have, well, I had a tree stand right here where I can clearly see all the little burrow locations right under me. But the beavers took care of that. But as you can tell right now, where the little stump is in the tree, there is no burrows, there's no rabbits, they're gone, they disappeared, and this one always does it. So let's come back the next day, the same time. We're going to take a look, and there's that same stump, that same tree, and you can see the burrow location will be there, and there will be some rabbits there. So this definitely confused me when I first started hunting in New Zealand, when they released the map, because I, this spot especially, because I always came here to hunt the feral pigs and the fallow deer and I would see the burrow location then I come back the next day to hunt them and it was gone I'm like I know it was around here somewhere and I'd run up and down the coast looking for this crazy spot and the rabbits are so small you can barely see them anyway so I'm looking for the burrow not there and finally figured out that they just disappear for a while and I have noticed that if they're not out of the five to nine time you come back later in the day they could be out but i just usually reset the clock to the next day after i'm done a few hunts and here we go there's the rabbits same spot so they do disappear but i have not ever seen one move to a different spot so all 21 locations that i have on my map have been there since the map has released and no matter how many times i shoot them they just keep coming back to the same spot so let's take a look at this spot over here. There are several burrows on this one. There's actually two that's pretty close to each other that I'll show you. And so some of these burrow locations are kind of in the cover. So even though the sun's up, I will leave my light on. It makes it a little bit easier to spot these little, spot these little small critters. We got a small male and a couple of female rabbits out. So 
who will try to take the mail first and anything that runs after that, I'll just start shooting. And I probably went through five or six hundred rounds of the old 12 gauge shotgun birdshot trying to get a diamond. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner the GPS coordinates of my tree stands and tripods so you can use that to locate the burrow location. So I will show you a map and I have circled all the burrow locations on the map but since there's such a small area I prefer you to look at the GPS coordinates to try to find it. There's a nice size, four to five pound rabbit, female. There's a melanistic rabbit, which I've taken a bunch of melanistic rabbits on my map. Taking so many of them, I just stopped taxiderming them because I already have enough. But a few females, a couple males, and one that's a four to five pound right in that hole. So I think what I'll go ahead and do is maybe take this melanistic rabbit first and then shoot everything else that moves. Well, let's go. Let's do some shooting. Wait till it gets closer. Two for one. That was some fun shooting. Don't work like that every time, but I've gotten a few times I've gotten two rabbits with one shot. But let's take a look. I know there's at least one melanistic, and we'll see what the other ones are. Here's a male, a light brown, 1.8 trophy rating. Here's a female melanistic, which I have several of those, but they are cute. There's a little female, a little small one. What else we got? Another female. Oh, here's a level two. Oh, a diamond! A 2.4, so just barely a diamond. And he was a level two. So I literally almost clicked accept and just kept on going. Now, yeah, luckily, I seen that little diamond logo pop up. So anytime I get a level two diamond, I'm happy to take it. So I've gotten. A level 2 turkey that was a diamond and a rabbit. Pretty cool. So I got a good amount of rabbits at this location. So I don't think the female European rabbits can be diamond, but it could be wrong. If you know, drop a comment. If you got one, drop a comment and let me know. Let me just do a real quick check. Make sure I know his other level 2s were a diamond, but nope, looks like that was the only one. All right, let's go on to the next location. And I'll go over the GPS of all the locations, but I have another spot right across the road right here, running distance away. So let's sneak up on it and we'll get in the old tree stand. And, and there's the old burrow, couple of rabbits. Look how small they are, they're so cute. You really got to look good in the grass and I kind of listen for them so I definitely wear headphones when I'm hunting rabbits because you got to hear the little footprints and the little thumps and see what direction they're heading in. You can also track them down by the grass. See how when that rabbit was running you kind of cleared a path in the grass. That's how I follow them through the grass and bushes to track them down and take a shot at them. So once I pick some of these up, I normally walk around a little bit, listen for any movement, listen for a warning thump. If I know one went into a, a certain direction, if he went north, I'll follow that little grass trail that he kind of laid down a path and I go try to track one or two down before I move on to the next location. Um, once it gets around 8.30, I normally just reset the clock to the next day and I go to the different side of the map and I'll take four or five of those burrow locations, reset the clock, go to a different side of the map 
hit up four or five of those borough locations and then keep doing that over and over. So that's all the locations on the peninsula side that I know of and I have one more right here and you can see the coordinates. So I have a tent that I use for fallow deer and red deer hunting right here. Here's another location. Here's the inlet where I have multiple locations where rabbit burrows can be found. On the northwest side in Stone Castle, I have three locations. And then there's one location right here. And there's the tree stand and the GPS coordinates. And there's a bunch of rabbit burrows on the west side of the map. One here, one here where I have a tree stand. And there's one a little bit to the south. And I have a tree stand right here. And you can see the GPS coordinates. Another one right here. And right by this hunting structure, there is a rabbit burrow. So also the pretty cool spot right by the lighthouse that has a rabbit burrow locations. So let's take a look at this spot right here. This is probably one of my favorite areas on the map. I mean a great place for a fowl, red deer, turkey, goats, rabbits. I mean they're all here. So this spot right here is actually two burrow locations really close to each other, which makes it quite easy to move from one to the other. Run, 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 run! Oh, he's fast, he's fast, he's where to live. I missed him. Can't believe I missed that. The old 12 gauge should spray a little bit more. So this is a great spot. Get out the old 22 after you're done shooting them. Stay in your tree stand. Try to take a shot from the longer range shot. They might run 50 to 60 yards and they'll stop. But let's pick these up. We'll walk across the street. There's another location that's right there across the road. So easy to get to from that same outpost. This is one of my favorite spots for turkey. I've taken two melanistic turkeys in this location and a diamond turkey. So I'll go ahead and walk across the road and I'll show you really quick the other location. Have some more spots to show you. And I'll put the map at the end of the video and you can pause it and you can see all the locations I've circled. So you can see as I get closer, you can pretty much see the borough location from this spot right there. So I have a few more locations to share with you today. And they are located on the southwest side of the map. So I use the outpost right here to access both of these tree stands. And you can see the GPS coordinates. And here's the second one. Not much going on at these spots today. So I have a few more locations to share with you on the southwest side near the old lighthouse. And there's actually one hunting stand that you can get into and see the rabbits from the hunting stand, which is pretty cool. There's also a great burrow location right at the foot of the lighthouse. It's kind of at the slope of the hill, so I'm gonna show you that. I know this is a long video, for thank, thank you for sticking in with it. You know, I'm gonna share a map at the end of the video. I have all the spots circled, also circled the locations where you can hunt turkeys. And I have a green dot on every burrow location. There's 21 burrow locations that I've found. And you can see the lighthouse in the distance there. And right when it comes down to the bottom, there's a burrow location. Just north of that location, there's another spot where they have a burrow. There's pigs all over the west coast. It's my favorite spot to hunt pigs. This spot and the mud lakes, my two favorite locations.
from here is the coordinates of another spot and stay towards the end I'll share the map and you can see the locations but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed until next time happy hunting